Having an office setup has been quite common in the last six to eight months and Huawei's latest product lineup helps you do exactly that. The MatePad Pro 12.6 is a tablet available at 3,399 dirhams. Harmony OS 2 runs the show and it's a nice familiar experience. You've got a dock at the bottom and little options to arrange the UI like switching between small and large folders. Notifications are accessed via swiping from the left edge whereas all your controls are on the right. The 12.6 inch size of the display also hits the sweet spot. It's bright and lets you take full advantage of content at 2560 by 1600 resolution. Again, having multiple applications open, different windows and just general multitasking is great thanks to Huawei software. And also don't dismiss video watching here because the speakers and OLED display experience is pretty good. Sound is immersive, although we sometimes wish the screen bezel was just a bit smaller. But that's not the biggest issue with the tablet. Harmony OS 2 is great, but its limitation to not be able to use Google services is crucial. To counter this, Huawei's done something smart. The software features Petal Search, which alongside App Gallery helps you find your favorite applications, but it's not as intuitive as you might think. Searching for applications is easy and about 60% of the time you'll find the application you're actually looking for. But even if you do, the install process is a bit complex. The tablet essentially looks for application package files online from reliable websites and prompts you to download them in that manner. But this still doesn't mean a true experience and depending on where you download the applications from, times to download can vary. For example, YouTube does not show up on the results at all, so we had to use an alternative called YouTube Vanced. And installing YouTube Vanced has its own set of extra steps. Whereas Google Keep, it shows up as being available officially on the app gallery, but just doesn't work. There are no alternatives to Google Keep either, so you have to use a web-based version if you do want to use it. You find a lot of local applications and even others like Instagram and Twitter on App Gallery and even be able to set up your Gmail via Huawei's default email application. The bottleneck is just when you're using core Google services. That's where this tablet struggles, even on Harmony OS 2. While we are talking of usage, it's also worth mentioning that not all applications are optimized for a large screen experience. In particular, Twitter, which is just a zoomed in version and Instagram, which doesn't take advantage of the extra space at all. Although, when you're watching Instagram stories, it does open up as a separate window. Now, we don't know if this is a feature or just a bug, but if it's a feature, it's a really useful one. But other than that, the responsiveness thanks to the Kirin 9000E chip and 8GB of RAM is great. You also get 256GB of onboard storage, which can be doubled using Huawei's NM card solution. Away from Harmony OS 2, you'll get Huawei's MateBook X Pro. This laptop is a design delight because it has the looks. It's got a full aluminum chassis with a bit of a flex and creak, but this is Huawei's answer to your typical laptop usage on Windows 10. It skims out a bit on port selection with only two Type-C USB ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack, and a Type-A USB port, but inside you'll find an 11th gen Intel Core i7 1165G7 chip. This delivers a great performance package, although it's not ideal when it comes to chassis temperatures. The MateBook X Pro heats up quite a bit, especially on its underside. So it's nice to have a 1.33 kilogram chassis that's only 14.6 millimeters thin, but perhaps to make it so thin, you do sacrifice on thermals. The trackpad on the laptop is extremely mushy, so not that satisfying, but the keyboard delivers to a large extent. Raw specifications like 16GB of RAM or 1TB of storage are also appreciated, but the standout feature for the laptop is its 13.9 inch LTPS display. It's uniform, allows for touchscreen input, and makes for great visuals for 90% of the time. The blacks could be slightly deeper, but that's about all the complaints we're gonna talk about. The beauty of having a laptop and a tablet combination from Huawei though, is that they can cross collaborate. If you wanna learn more on how this works, you can definitely check out the video we've made earlier, but being able to interact with Windows and Harmony OS 2 so seamlessly is just a really nice experience. The wireless experience is good, with a hint of latency when moving Moving your cursor, but we wouldn't say it's bad for casual video watching or typing. Although with such an extensive lineup, we're still not done. Because for an even larger display experience, you have the MateView monitor. This is Huawei's entry into the smart monitor lineup with a 28.2 inch 
3x2 4K plus IPS display. We've gone over the basics of the monitor in a previous video linked above, but what about its usage? It has a rich selection of ports and hooking up your PC to the monitor is very straightforward. Having that 3x2 aspect ratio also helps with vertical space, so if you're scrolling through web pages or feeds, this is ideal. But programs that rely on landscape use, things like video editing for instance, will feel a bit cramped up. Multimedia also looks pretty good, but of course, you'll have to adjust to those black bars on the top and bottom. We also noticed that the panel wasn't as uniform as it could be, with brightness higher towards the center than the edges. As for the build of the monitor, there isn't much to complain about, it gives off an industrial vibe, and the overall height and tilt of the device can be adjusted fairly well, but there's no rotation support. Something we touched on in the earlier video about the MateView was Huawei's smart bar, and having used it, it's both intuitive and not at the same time. We feel some things like navigation are just done faster with a typical joystick that you'd find on any monitor, but for fine-tuned control, the smart bar definitely helps things like sliding across to adjust brightness or volume. We think a smart bar with a click function could have been the sweet spot for this type of implementation from Huawei, although you don't find it here. And and oddly, when you're using the smart bar extensively and when you're using wireless connectivity in particular, the smart bar region of the monitor heats up extensively almost to an extent where you can't even touch it. So that's something to keep in mind. But just like the laptop and the tablet, the monitor also brings in support for wireless connectivity. Although you'll have to keep in mind latency this time around because it is a bit higher than when we connected the MatePad and the MateBook. Looking at Huawei's lineup from an overall perspective though, there's definitely value value to be had. Each device caters towards a different working style, and of the three, we've particularly enjoyed the MatePad Pro 12.6. Huawei also has a bunch of bundle options available on its website, and we think the bundle with the MatePad Pro 12.6 and the MateView is the most standout in terms of value, functionality, and features that you'll be able to take advantage of. But that's all for this one. Thank you guys for watching and do let us know what you think about our overall experience and whether you'd pick one up. All the details for where you can pick up these devices are in the description. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more coming up. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.